Turn that g- off, Lucas. Bro, that's fucking Pac. <laughs> that you shit fucking off, disrespect bro. again, motherfucker. Pac who? Bro, just because it ain't Foxy Red doesn't mean it's not fire. Sexy <laughs> Red. Sexy Don't Red. Don't disrespect the queen, Sexy bro. Red. Sexy More Red. More like not Sexy Red. Bro, you, you would have smash? No. Bro, you what? see it? You would? You guys see she's pregnant, right? Is she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone did that? She just yeah. fucked up her. What do you mean, bro? People be in. She's bad, bro. She's a bro. celebrity. She's bad. Bro. Yo, this sexy red is hot. Bro, booty hole brown. First what color is the booty hole supposed to be? Why Why we have to announce it on a song? I mean, I think you can, one can assume that a booty hole is going to be brown. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I didn't even need her lyrics. I mean, I've never seen a, a, a that just purple booty hole. I mean, yeah, yeah, you have. I, yo, I just want to know, like, who's the dad? Bro. I don't even think she knows, bro. I don't, I don't, she I don't, here it's just Drake. Drake. Bro, bro, Drake. She's always talking about how no, she... I, if I had to put down money on who the dad is, Nick Cannon, for sure, bro. He's batting at a thousand. Yo, days, you know what I mean? yo, watch. Yeah, Nick Cannon just comes out of fucking left field, all of a sudden <laughs> making appearances with Sexy Red. <laughs> Got something to tell you guys. Would you be more surprised, Kid number though? 52. Would you be more surprised? Would you, Isn't that Young Boys or something? Uh, no, bro, no, I don't think so. He's right. got like he's got like a whole football team though. Yeah, he can play both yeah, yeah, offense yeah, think, and defense, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna got. say he's he's got he's definitely got a a, a basketball team. Yeah, yeah. yeah starting, I don't know. two starting fives. <laughs> Yo, but bro, speaking <laughs> of fucking cream pies, I want to share this oh, here story goes. with you guys. Yeah. No, 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 you How started it, bro. Right on time, you baby. Right on time. Time. He started the cream yeah. pies, bro. It was you. But listen, um, as you guys, I'm you know I'm not self proclaimed. The name was honored, given to me by my brothers. I've been talking to some guys because now my insurance is good. I'm like, all right, for sure. Now I'm for real about to schedule my vasectomy. So I was talking to some clients and like, yo, bro, I just got one. And I was like, oh, bro, like, I'm like a little kid, right? I'm like, tell me about it. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> I'm and curious I'm, too, though. Bro, so he told me first thing, he goes into a doctor's office and it's like a little cute nurse. This is his word, right? He's like, bro, the nurse is kind of bad. Like, I'm literally like this, bro, on a table. And then the nurse walks in. Meanwhile, I'm like, she's, she's, she, she yeah. puts the laughing gas. And then, you know, I'm like this. So she comes in and she's like, all right, sir, I'm going to... Um, Hold on, you, you went in? No, 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 that's what he's telling oh, okay, me. No, 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 okay, no. Okay. So he's telling... No, bro, imagine I see him fucking... You know, it'd be kind of crazy. Continue. So the, the nurse comes in and she's like, all right, sir, I'm going to go ahead and tape your penis to your stomach. <laughs> For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the see, like I was like, that's he's because he's, what he's, if it doesn't reach? Hold yeah, on, I'm let me get there. Let me get, I was gonna get say, there. let me get there, bro. Let me get there. I was like, bro, that's a fucking that's a distance, bro. Yeah. So she was, he was like, yeah, it's it was like, kind of weird because she I'm grabbed not it. with that, bro. Because I asked him, I was like, yo, bro, did you do you fluff or like what, what before you lay down? Yeah. He's like, no, bro. I'm like, a grower and not a shower, homie. What do he, I do, bro? So he, he said that, and I was like, I don't know if I can do this, guys. Because imagine I have to tell this young lady, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, no yeah. tape needed. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's, yeah. It won't. It's just, it's going to just yeah. rest on top of my balls. Even better, but what if yeah. you were just like fucking bricked yeah. up, bro? See, if I was bricked, <laughs> so, she might need some fucking electrical tape to get that motherfucker yeah. down, bro. So here's, here's my whole thing with you getting a vasectomy, bro. If it's a female nurse, bro, you're, yeah, you're, you're going to be rock hard, bro. I don't yeah. think so. Because they give you a pill you take before you get there, then they give you laughing gas, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just, I, honestly, just dude, like, make sure to tell them your testosterone's pumping. One, I'm not K worried. Right I'm not worried about getting bricks <laughs> because I'm worried about <laughs> them seeing like the embarrassment of them seeing my soft cock, bro. Yeah. Might just make me not want to get a vasectomy. <laughs> I swear to God. To be honest, bro. I mean, bro, you gotta love okay. your shit. You know what I, I mean? do, and, and bro, I was fucking me and my dick are like this, son. You know bro, what me I mean? Too. But we've been on missions, and we came out when we needed <laughs> to come out. But I just thought that was like I was like, fuck, dude. Because if it's a guy, like, which would you rather have? Like, if you, like, hey, doc, you don't got to worry about that. Cause my, you know, or like a little cute little chick, bro. Yeah, no, 100%. The dude, the dude. would probably fucking make me feel yeah, more yeah. comfortable. I'd be mean, like, hey, bro, you know, it's all good. Like, well, I, what, I, what, I, what I keep thinking about is, like, if she's cute and, like, you you are attracted, right? And then she's fucking down there doing shit and you just all of a sudden it's getting a little bigger, a little yeah, firmer. Yeah. I'm like, see? You know, and then, yeah, see? and then she knows. <laughs> I'm like, it grows. Oh, my God. So, I promise. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. Oh, next yeah, time. cheers. So, uh, he's done. He's done. So, yeah, it was a nice little intro to our podcast talking yeah, about Chewie's Chewie's uh, soft fucking dick in a vasectomy. Bro. Yeah, I can. Someone else is it. fucking yeah. We're penis doing research. Hey, so me, so real quick before we close this out, are you are you heading to the doctor soon? Scheduled? Are, no, I'm like, doing are, it. Are, are, yeah. Are, are we doing like a whole vlog? Of course, bro. Like, we can't fucking yeah. give it away. Hell okay. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do the one that gives me the laughing gas, so I can okay. talk. Okay. Once I come out all loopy and shit, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Before the... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Before the Cut. Cut to hit. Are we back in this bitch? Did I, turn yes, your, did I turn your camera on, Evan? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oops. 
Yo, how you guys doing, bro? What's up, boy? Fucking it's it, it's excited, been uh it's, it's been a couple weeks. It's been weeks. You were dude. you were out with a, a sickness Plague. a sickness per Again. usual. Uh, I think I'll that's what your up. what 20, Honestly, 20 30th uh, sickness of the year. The past three episodes, I was blowing my nose, and you guys made fun of me. So the yeah. fact that I almost lost my life that I was blowing my nose, yeah, boy. And I didn't really, you have like I didn't even get a fucking get well text or a card. Balloons, nothing, bro. Y'all nothing. ain't shit. Nah, nothing. you didn't even show it to my party. You didn't even text nothing. me back, You're fucking bro. dead nothing. to me, dog. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't get those cupcakes? I ain't get, bro, that was pretty good. Did you try one? <laughs> They're gluten-free, bro. Fucking gluten-free, sugar-free oh, cupcakes, Jesus. bro. All right, guys. So, for, first topic that we got to touch on. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys a question first, and then we're going to jump in the story. If you guys ever taken uh, a female out to, on a first date, that is, um, no. to a <laughs> to a cheesecake factory and Applebee's no. uh, or or a Chili's on the first date. No, first date, nah. But I fuck with the Chili's, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I fuck with cheesecake. margaritas yeah, at like Chili's, bro. Yo, yo, Applebee's, Applebee's. They're what? They're 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 two for twenty uh, dollar 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 margaritas, okay. like. On whatever dollar it is. margaritas, yeah, bro. bro. It's dangerous. Who needs roof What are we you doing? Gotta Dude, they brought like them that. back. <laughs> they brought them back. So what are yeah, we doing bro. Here? Applebee's got deals on deals. Okay, bro. You know how much so, damage we can do with dollar margaritas, bro? bro. Oh yeah, we, we'd get kicked out. We'd be, be problem. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. would be like like what 20, 30 bucks, and we'd be all completely blacked Fuck. out. I mean, yeah. I mean, all right. So, no, so, why? so, the, so the reason why I asked you guys is, uh, and I'm sure you've seen it all over social media the last week or so. Uh, this girl comes out and says, "Here is a uh, list of restaurants that I absolutely refuse to go on on a first date," and that was the top three: uh, Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, and Chili's. Uh, it's getting a ton of heat, um, getting a, getting a lot of uh, men piping up saying stuff. Then, then you got the females in the comments, kind of, kind of. Some are defending, some are saying like, "Fuck this chick!" Like, none of that shit matters. Um, yeah, I, w- I want to dive in this a little bit. So, curious on what your guys' thoughts are here. I mean, so I, I'm always kind of weird about that shit anyway. Like, I think it's weird setting up a first date and going to like, like a dinner spot, and I expect. Like, especially a, like a chain restaurant like that. I think that's weird in general. Like, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm taking a girl out and I want it to be fucking special, we're, if we're going to dinner, we're probably going to go to like a fucking boutique type restaurant. Are you rich, though? But not even, bro. Not Like, even if I, if I was fucking broke, like, then I would fucking cook something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you go to fucking Applebee's on your first fucking date. First date is wild. First slide. Date. Yeah, first date is kind of crazy. Slide. But I also, I mean, bro, like, Cheesecake Factory, I haven't been there forever, but it was fine. I mean, it was cool. Dude, like, so... He, like, well, I'm going to take a bitch to Carbone every fucking yeah, time? Okay, so... Out of mind. That, no. th- the list really, honestly, like, can fucking... Can, uh, it really confused me. Because when you look at the list, like, okay, cheese, Cheesecake Factory out of all of them... Right. ...as number one... Like, yeah. honestly, bro, like, she's Cheesecake exactly Factory has a, a fucking but wide variety. It's, it, it, it's not, like, fucking top tier, but it's not fucking bottom of the barrel either. But, but that's what I'm you saying. Know? Like, I feel like, I feel like what's weird is going on your first date. It, like, Cheesecake Factory, I feel, is, is probably more acceptable than most of the other places. But did you notice on that list, McDonald's wasn't even in that bitch. Yeah. Like, so we can go to McDonald's, but you're not cool yeah. with Cheesecake Factory? Hold on. So, yeah. I, I just pulled up the list, and, dude, do you know who this chick is? Kind of a snack. Fucking she kind, of kind of a snack. Of. Yeah. Baddie, bro. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to read because there's it's more than just food now that I'm looking at it, bro. Yeah. Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your yeah. house, like your, you know. Yeah, we'll uh, go to your house. Yeah. The gym, coffee dates, the gym? Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ice the gym's cream. a good one, bro. Bro, ice cream dates, movie night, uh, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah lounge, a bar just for drinks. A mom and pop yeah, restaurant, right. bro. What the? What is left? Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. You good? Yo, that's that was my that was my like my my favorite first date was the movies and um, trash. Why? See, because you don't you don't interact with each thank other. You. That's, You're that's fucking my watching thing. I, a I'm movie. Not, I'm trying to get to a know movie her. I'm smash. After. I was also oh. a shy little boy. Though. Yeah, okay. Shy that's the boy. problem. So you were, I, you, you were hoping that the movie you know, was entertaining enough that yeah, you didn't yeah, have yeah, to I don't have to do shit. And then I can just hit it with one of these, like put my hand on her thigh. Uh, yeah, yeah, bro. See, you you that sneaky. Creep I was I terrible. Though. I, yeah, I, I had no zero game. But what were you gonna say? I don't, I got a lot of thoughts about this. So I think zero. first and foremost, like to to your comment or to your comment, um, I think first date always needs to be in a spot that where you can have a good conversation. Um, however, wherever that like, you know yeah. that might be. Um, as as far as like you know like the list and shit, 
here, here's to me where it gets a little interesting is like, okay, so you take a girl out to, let's say a five-star restaurant on like the first date. So this is obviously what this girl's looking for. This girl's looking to be taken to a, um, a, a, a Carbone, for example, like a very fine dining restaurant. She's looking for that on the first date. What expectation does that set to that woman? Basically that, oh, if this is where we're going on the first date, this is like where we always eat. So I don't know, like, like to That's me, point, I, I think I, on the first date, taking someone to a place like that, it kind of takes away from that whole like, you know, like, oh, it feels special going to somewhere nice, um, you know, on like special occasions, anniversaries, birthdays, um, you know, celebrating something like whatever it is. So um that, you know, like, that's kind of like my thoughts a little bit is I think I don't really care on first date, like where it is, as long as you can, you, you can have good conversation. Um, yeah. Like, I don't think you should take her to some like fucking fast food restaurant. Yeah. Um, but like, there's nothing wrong with going to a fucking cheesecake factory on the first date yeah, I, all right, to chill, have some pasta, like have a good conversation, whatever. But, that might so be. kind of elaborating on your, your thoughts on it, because I don't feel that you need to necessarily go to an expensive bougie place. Like I feel like you can yeah, go yeah, to absolutely. a, like an authentic, like one of my favorite places to eat. It's like a fucking little hole in the wall, El Salvadorian fucking restaurant yeah right. fire you know yeah it's boutique. fire like a little boutique yeah, that's what i mean yeah, yeah. It's, it's mom and pop ran yeah. which was on her list. on the list bro yeah yeah but fuck her i'm not taking her out <laughs> anyway you know yeah. what i mean but uh, but i'm saying like i feel like that's it, like it doesn't have to be pricey because that place is fucking dirt cheap yeah, i'm yeah, talking yeah. pupusas yeah. fire fuck, you know yeah. what i mean i might get hard right now yeah, yeah <laughs> dog, but that's what i'm <laughs> saying but like pupusas, but like that type of shit is like what i'm into it doesn't always have to be a fucking expensive place it just has to be like authentic yeah you know what i mean but yeah. even eating on a first date's kind of crazy but like honestly like is it you don't, yeah, you don't think so? Because like, I, I don't think that's. Are you are you like a coffee shop guy or what? Love coffee shops. That's weird though. I always thought like, it was weird. Like, like, like to, on a first date, because just go to a coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's it's I, the daytime, so yeah. it's like, yo, know, like let's go here. <clears> so it's not. I don't know because I think there's a. It just shows that person like I don't hang out with you just at night. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's middle of the day. Like yeah. if you have time, if you have two hours. Like let's go get a coffee. And then, yeah. and then you're literally for, there's no distraction. There's no food. There's no ordering. There's yeah. no. There's not a lot of people there. It's a real yeah. intimate like. Let's I, just talk. Yeah. You know? I think I think based on the couple that can be good or bad. Yeah, like I, agree. I think sometimes going to going to dinner regardless of where it is is a good is a, is a good first start because you can get like you can get obviously get a drink. What happens when someone has a drink? They loosen up a little bit. They're not so nervous. Right, They're 100%. not so like shy. Yeah. Um, Agreed. I just think it's a little bit better. In well, and I, I think I think on that uh, like a coffee shop to me says like we're kicking it for like fifteen minutes, whereas a dinner we yeah. we're spending an hour together. Yeah, like because a coffee but shop. It's the first date, though. Yeah, no, not 15, 15 minutes, but it's just like, well, you've uh, you've never you, you guys don't like you guys don't like coffee shops. Like well, that. but it's not even about that. It's like even if I do like uh, like I'll drink a coffee, but I'll go to a coffee shop. I'm kind of I'm too impatient, right? So as yeah. soon as I'm done, I'm done. I'm out of here. Like I have no reason to just keep sitting here. But if I'm waiting for food to come, I'm waiting for another drink to come. Right? Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah, I can hang out and I'll, I'll fucking yeah. talk and I uh, you know yeah. I'll keep the game up. I love how the internet just ran with this. Um, I, <laughs> it was I, everywhere, I, dude. I don't yeah. know if you've seen it, but uh, probably my the, the funniest reaction I've seen to it was um, someone made a someone made a reel, but they actually flipped it, and it was it was a guy and girl going out, obviously on a date, um, but the guy was the one that was bitching about going to Cheesecake yeah, yeah, versus yeah, yeah, the yeah. woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they like are walking up to Cheesecake Factory. And like, like and like Ugh, he's like factory. he's like he's like starting to like look around like all like kind of weird like Ugh, like this is like where we're going like he's like well I just I guess I just don't don't go to like Cheesecake Factory and then they're like they're like at Cheesecake Factory and they're like sitting in the booth and like they were like trying to look at the menu and like he like didn't even know how to look at it because he's like oh there's just like so much going on here like yeah, I, yeah. I don't know he's like I'm not used to being here this is great yeah. publicity yeah. for fucking Cheesecake Factory yeah, like at the end of the yeah, day they're, they're getting so much free marketing from this shit and I love yo, it yo what's the first date that you guys have done like back high school college or whatever first see that's what I'm saying I'm kind of I'm not like yeah, conventional right? on like like a first date type thing like I, I'm more casual like hey I'm going to fucking eat you want to eat you hungry yeah <laughs> you, know you were I mean? doing that young though yeah, I've, I can't say yeah. that I've ever staged a date. Like I've never been like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to the movies. I'm gonna get a popcorn. Yeah, oh. and then I'm gonna touch your thigh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I I've went to I've went to like chill spots, um, like grab like some like ice cream or like coffee stuff. Yeah. Um, I went to places um, like like Yard House. 
uh, which is like very similar to honestly to like a, a cheesecake factory. It just it's more like American, but yeah. like same same kind of stuff. Huge menu. Um, I always I always save movies. I would say for at least like date number two or three. Stage. Um, <laughs> Movies, movies for like two or three, because like, you're still trying to figure out like, okay, like, hey, do I want to kick it with this person more? Like, you know, do I enjoy, you know, spending time with them, whatever. So, yeah. I don't really go to the movies. So I guess there, there's that. Like, I, I think it goes back to like the sitting still thing. Like, I, I need a little bit more of a purpose. So it's like, if there was with the purpose, you're watching the movie, motherfucker. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. But you're you're it's you're sitting there like I don't know. Like it's because it you never put your hand in her thigh, bro. No, see, but the, when I went to the movies, bro, I was getting dumb in that fucking back aisle. Bro, I've yeah. never gotten head in the movie theater. No, you, you have no, bro. No, I never that's had. the only reason to go. I'd love to though. Yeah. To be honest, I think I've, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't either. Yeah, we're, we're squares, dude. Damn, bro. bro. Yo, we gotta get no, some. We gotta no, get some hey, head in the movie hey, theater. No, no, hey, I'm gonna <laughs> I think you, so. No, bro. guys, you want the Yo, next bucket fucking list, level? bucket list item. Yeah, you want the absolutely. next? Regardless I'm of age. Tell you, hey, listen, trust me, you want this fucking tidbit. So okay. right here oh, at the shit. Santa Fe, pay attention. Right here pay at the attention. Santa Fe. Yeah, yeah. Right, they have their movie theater inside there. Yeah. These motherfuckers have private boxes. So above, Ooh. like, so there's all the seats. Oh. You can rent out fucking private boxes and have your own room, kick it with your own people. We brought our own fucking snacks. Wow. It's legit, it, legit, bro. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that gives you. See, some that's options. fine. That's cool. But then you yeah, missed the movie, dude. Who gives a fuck about <laughs> the movie? <laughs> I'm good with dumb, yeah, like, hey. <sighs> I don't know, dude. Guys and girls are just different, man. Yeah. I think I think in expectations, but um, another place where guys and girls are different. I don't know which one of you guys sent this in the in the group, but did you see the lovely Kim Kardashian, bro? Is running through the headlines, right? Again, as per always, usual, fucking per BBL usual. bouncing left yeah. and right as she's running through. Them. I call Kim Kardashian a, a transformer, yeah, because because every I year, like this era of her though. This Kim she looks K more is normal. nice, bro. Yeah, she looks more normal because like. The tits are there, but they're not too big. The ass is there; it's not too big. She low key kind of like looks like a normal human right now. Yeah, she's better. Yeah, she's, I'll, I'll she's give not, her that. The normal's a stretch, yeah. but she's better right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's yeah. better. Yeah, I mean, she's a perfect human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking AI <laughs> yeah. generated. Yeah. Fucking yeah. yeah, AI generated. AI bitch. AI oh, build sorry. a perfect uh, uh, brunette, please. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. But um, anyway, she's in the news. Not news, but she's headlines and shit. People talking about her because she came out and said, you know, obviously her departure from yeah. Mr. West, right? Fuck Kanye. Yeah. Um, what, bro? Kanye's yeah, my yeah, guy. No, fuck Kanye. He fucking you. hates Kanye. Fucking hate Kanye. Fuck West. you. But she came, comes train. out, comes out and says, um, I hired a male nanny because I want a male figure around my kids. Yep. Bro, I read that shit and yeah. I was like, the fucking balls on this bitch, yeah. bro. But then I yeah. was kind of like, I kind of good it though. It's yeah. smart. I was going to say, like, good. it's. It. At, at first, I was like, my, my head was thinking. And then I, I thought more about it. I was like, okay, it's probably better to have like a male nanny that you could have like, okay, hey, like, I'm going to hire this guy, have him around for, you know, a couple years. I mean, looking at typical Kim Kardashian dating, I mean, before Kanye, bro, she was. She was fucking going through the roster. Bro. Not the employees, though. you know. Um, Ray but J. So, so, so here's bro. here's what I'm getting at fucking is God. it's probably better for Kim to hire a male nanny than it is for her to probably find some dude to start coming and stepping in as like this father figure because knowing Kim, yeah, he's probably not going to be around that long. That's like a surrogate, you know, father figure though. You think? You know yeah, right. I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, but that's. See, but like in so, my mind, it goes to safety. Like I think of like a fucking what's that Vin Diesel movie where he's like a nanny and he's fucking shooting people and shit. Oh, um, um, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? But I don't. Pacifier, I just think. Yeah, I think it's pacifier. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's more like she just wants like a a a, a fucking just yeah. man like yeah. safety wise. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't know. Well, I think that she can suck no, his dick. I, what the there. what the better I question think it's is? Bigger than that. What do you like? Or, I'll let you go first. Uh, I, I was just saying, I think it's it's more so about, like, statistically, it's been shown that, uh, like, kids who are raised, you know, without their yep. their father figure end up on a bad track, whereas kids, if they don't have a mother figure, yep. it's usually the father figure that, that determines if they're going to be, you know, not going to jail and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think there's a, a big piece of... You know, helping this no, kid out. For the, no, <laughs> like I, I, I'm actually, I'm all for like a male in the household. Like, right. I, I sound bad saying this, Even but if like, you just pay dude, them, like, dude. <laughs> I've, yeah, fucking weird. I, I know yeah. a lot, of, a lot of women that grew up in households with like without a male figure. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, but like Horse. it's different, bro. It's different. <laughs> that's that's why it's, we love yeah. that. Like, I won't get into it, but I'll just say like a woman <laughs> not having a father figure and a male in the house is definitely different. 100%. Um, but is what? that really going to make, I don't know, because I feel like what's going to fuck up the kids is like having a nanny, having yeah. fucking chef, having every, people, yeah. these random workers in the house. Yeah. So is having a male nanny going to just yeah. erase all the other shit? fucked up things that are well in this kid's mind no i mean i think they're still hollywood fucked up like that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. gonna fuck yeah. them up anyway bro uh yo, yo speaking of speaking of fucked up with the kids yo saint um i think it's like kanye's first first son yo he literally has this new thing where he fucking hops out of the whip <clears throat> and he fucking looks right at the paparazzi oh, and flips that, yeah. him off bro He's done it like multiple times now. And I guess the last time he, he did it, like Kim like literally turned around and like yeah, hit his snatched hand. his hand and like fucking like pushed it down. See, like, like, that's we, crazy. We, that we got a fucked, we bro. got a young Kanye on our hands. Bro, he's oh, fucked yeah. right now. Bro, I'm telling you he's four, fucked. four or five years old, like fucking you know, growing up with a paparazzi in his face, like that's that's uh that's so, so way to ruin a life. The, the question I was gonna exactly. bring up here is like, okay, let's say you guys are Kanye. How do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about your ex-wife having a male nanny to play daddy in the crib? Oh, I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Um, you know, like, is that, is that a weird feeling for you? I don't know. Like, so my whole thing is, I don't, I don't know where Kanye's mental is at right now. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, maybe it's I think weird. he's better. I think he's better think with, he's, uh, he's, he, yeah. he's got, well, he's got, he's got, well, I fucking what's love her name? Yeah. Fucking Bianca. Giovanni or, or whatever. Yeah. 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 Bianca. Yeah. <laughs> with the tits bro, Yo, bro, bro. she's yeah. fucking Yo, those tits up. are fucking outside bro <laughs> racked up but yeah Literally, I, I just feel outside like, all the time i feel like it's probably it's probably weird but i mean how <laughs> like their fucking life their relationship is weird yeah. anyway yeah. their kid's yeah. name fucking northwest you yeah. know what i mean yeah. like yeah. It's, yeah. it's all weird yeah so having a male nanny probably not the, yeah. not the biggest yeah. fucking thing yeah. they're yeah. Focusing I, don't, on. I don't i just i yeah. don't see a big difference because it's like yeah. what, what if she she uh um, yeah let's just take a different different family because that family she's gonna always run through guys and he's yep. always gonna run through girls so there's gonna be Kardashian curse people in and out of those the kids gift lives that keeps on forever. giving so <laughs> how different is that than like if you if like she I can't think of a different example but like she gets another guy and the guy's around all the time so now there's a male figure in the house right it's, yep. like, it's a new boyfriend yep. it could be I don't know, pick a rapper. Yeah. Probably she's going to fucking seduce, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 oh, like, like Odell that. Beckham, right? He starts yeah. coming around. Now the kids are going to be around him. So now there's a yeah. father. So like, how, wh what's the difference? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I mean, I, I think it's the, I, I think didn't make the only, any sense. Did you? Did you I, <laughs> I think the only benefit would be like, as long as this nanny's like legit and fucking does his job, like this nanny might be around long term. Like, I don't know if, if Kim's going to have any like, at Kim's age, already having a buffet of children, <laughs> um, you know, like is, is is Kim even gonna like with Kim's net worth and the money and like just the whole family itself? Like, do you yeah, think Kim's actually marry? gonna end up like marrying again anyway? It's just gonna be a revolving probably. door of like dating. So like, I mean, honestly, realistically, she's honestly, probably fucking yeah, hard I was gonna to say, Kim, relationship with. bro, Kim probably Did just looked in the mirror and be like, yo, listen, like I'm just gonna be filtering through guys the rest of my fucking life. I, I'm, I might as well just get a you know a fucking nanny I can stay consistent with for a while to at least have in the career, basically you pay know? you know an eighth of what her child support bill would normally yeah. be, right? And have the guy. You think she's hard yeah. to be with? Yeah. Fuck yeah. You Why? think she's oh easy to be God, with, bro? I don't think easy, but bro, it's just she, like how I mean. She, I, I can only imagine bro, with, she wears the fucking pants. Oh, dude! And, and like, yeah, the like amount of money that degree. the amount of money that yeah. Kim Kardashian's worth, right. and how big her fucking head and her fucking ego, ego is. Right. Like, yo, Kim you Kardashian the fucking walks hot around of with a fucking yeah. with a fucking cock, hard as hell, big as hell, just yeah. confident with life. Yeah, bro, she's got a yeah. fucking yeah. big dick. Yeah, big dick energy, bro. Big dick energy. Huge. You energy. wouldn't put up with it though to fucking split that shit open. Depends. <laughs> Do I get do I get my own piggy bank? Yeah, you know what I mean. I would assume if she I'm, breaks it. It would it would depend oh, if, if imagine a, Christmas time at the Kardashian household, bro. bro. What we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stockings are just stockings are just uh, car like, keys, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <The> stockings <laughs> yeah, made out of gold. Yes, yeah, yeah, stockings just filled with Lambo keys, <laughs> yeah. bro. I mean, she would be see, wild. I do it for that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yo, would so, you sell your soul? Would you sell your soul to the devil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually saw this crazy show, Chew, dude. I'm not like Chew, a. Ooh, you kind of look like a Kardashian. To me, I look bad. No, you look more like no. a Jenner with that hair. <laughs> <laughs> Chew, Chew Kardashian. 
<laughs> Bro, I'll be a fucking Kylie. Uh, what's your Yeah. I'll be She's a Chewy Jenner. Jenner. Yeah? Chewy name? Jenner? There you go. Big Yo, I, I just saw this fucking Netflix show when I was dying, bro. It's called Fall of the House of the Usher. Have you guys heard of it? No, that sounds like some weird shit. No, bro. It's fucking... It's basically this, right? It's like Cliff Notes. It's like uh, this brother and sister, they like basically are... They, they have like... Uh, they created what's now Tylenol, right? Okay. Like way back in the day, in that timeline. And, you know, they're having troubles like, you know, getting it to where it needs to be. They go into a bar and there's this lady there and it happens to be the devil. And she's like, listen, I'll give you whatever you want, but I'm just telling you right now, like when you die, it's gone. Like you, you're never going to, you're never going to lose a lawsuit. You're never going to need, like everybody's going to love you. You have all the money, but if you have kids, if you have grand, if the grandkids, whatever, when you die, they die. And they both look at each other like, fuck it. They're probably like 25. And then the show just goes through the progression of like their life and stuff. And it got me th- at the end, it basically exposes all that. And I'm like, would I right now? Because one of at that time they didn't. Uh, the guy had kids, but the the sister didn't. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. Just I looked at Kim and I'm like, well, you know, I don't know. Would you do that? Like, right now, we'll, you know, we'll probably live until we're I don't know, seventy, hopefully eighty. And I'm like, fuck, that's, that's, that's some good money having 70. some bread. No, eighty. I want to, eighty's good. Seventy's young, right? I don't know, but yeah. I guess to answer your question, yeah. would I? Yeah, I probably would. Would you? Probably. Yeah. Well, you? I think it's it's hard to turn down that. That fucking Whatever you want, bro. You, you're fucking well, rich as fuck for the rest of your life until you die, and then it goes. And then your kids or anybody you created after this moment that you say yes dies too. When so you I guys die. don't have kids, so you guys can be like, yeah. Fuck for me, yeah. like I have a son, and I'm like, I think I, don't, I mean, fuck. If he's rich until I die, fuck it, dude. You came along this ride with me, you know. But but that would mean then like he would die at a young age. He so, would die so, when I die. Yeah. 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 So. So that, that, that guy had so, a kid. Yeah, so. Isn't that crazy? It's interesting, dude. I would say that's a little bit selfish because it's, you're, you're really focused that's on- rich his, coming from him. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's kind, of, it's kind of selfish. It's like, damn, like, you know, like I'm going to fucking live this like best ass life fucking, so you, know, you know, well, well, obviously like it's your kid. So you're, you're probably, you're going to live 20 some years, you know, longer than them. And then it's like, well, fuck it. Like when, when it's my time, you know, it's, it's my time. It's also your time. So, <laughs> yeah. bro, if okay. fuck you, my, my, son will, my son will be sixty. I'll be eight. Excuse me, I'll be eighty. But yeah, yeah but what one, guarantees one more. you eighty? Like, <laughs> yeah. What if you're a sixty? You have all the resources you have in the world, bro. You can make sure you live until you're fucking. Yeah. Can you? And in that, in uh, that a bus, could still hit you. Hey, 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 look at Magic Johnson, bro. The guy got fucking AIDS like ten times, and he's still like hell. I shouldn't say that, bro. Because what if the devil's watching, dude? Yeah, yeah, man, man, he's like, oh, perfect. Yep. This nigga, he's he's going to take the date. Hey, but much. isn't that interesting, though? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I yeah. think yeah. I would. Yeah, it's interesting. To, uh, to switch topics a little bit, I'm, I'm curious on your guys' thoughts on tipping. All right? <laughs> Fuck, don't get me started on this <laughs> shit, bro. All right, so we obviously live in Las Vegas, a city of tipping. Uh, majority of the women here, uh, and, and men, bartenders, uh, hey, servers, bro, whatever. Men are just as important as yeah, women yeah. in the oh, service oh, industry, bro. Come on. I don't want to get into genders, bro. Chill. Oh, okay. Um, Them, they. So, uh, DoorDash, um, especially in Vegas, you know, I think, well, I think any city, a um, lot of lot of Uber Eats, DoorDash stuff going on, Postmates, all that stuff. Um, but DoorDash was the one who came out and said this first. DoorDash is basically, uh, there's this pop-up that comes up on the screen after you place your order, um, and then it asks you if you want to tip. Um, if you refuse to tip, there's another pop-up that comes on the screen, and it says, um, uh, uh, yeah, if you, if you choose not to tip, um, your, your order may take longer than expected. So basically saying like, Hey, you better fucking tip your driver. If you don't tip your driver, you're going to have to fucking wait. Um, so there's that side of it. And then the other part that I want to explain a little bit that th- this has been, I- I've started to notice this in a lot of places everywhere is asking you, even if it's like self-service, um, or even if there's like little to no work being done by anyone, um, you're, you're going to check out, you're going to pay at one of these like, like pay stations terminals and it asks you, do you want a tip? So, uh, obviously I respect anyone who's out here working for tips, live off tips, whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting what we're seeing with DoorDash and like self checkout services. Do you fault them, bro? For for making that like a 
a notice to the consumer ordering food on there? Well, I think that the, the systems are fucking flawed by design. Like, I hate... What happened to the days where you tipped because you got good service? Yeah. Why the fuck am I tipping before you even fucking dropped off my fucking food? Yeah. Like, that's what I don't get. The tip should be yeah. at the end, and you choose, oh, you know, this person dropped the shit out of my food. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, did a great fucking job giving yeah. me my food. But I think there's more shitty people than there is good people, which is why that's a thing. Yeah. Because if people are like, all right, you know, let's just yeah, tipping. You, right. I get you. Is yeah, that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying, like, yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't, I've gotten food delivered. I don't, I don't do that often because I'm like, I, I just, I, I know. I'll go pick yeah. it up because I'm, I'm not even going to take a chance. I just spend money on this shit. Yeah. But I've, I've ordered stuff before and it's fucked up and it makes me just want to be like, I'm never tipping anybody ever. Fuck. That. I know. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yep. yeah. And it's just like, yep. it's not cool, but. Yep. What yeah. I think is sad is, and I think uh, like you'll see this a lot with like DoorDash or like Uber Eats. Like if you, if you tip them, like you're, you're tipping them to basically like do their job. Mm -hmm. It's not like they're, they're, they're working for a tip. They're just, we're just tipping them in hopes of, oh, well, maybe if we tip them, they'll be a little bit faster or maybe they'll bring it up to my door or maybe, you know, like I live in a high rise building where it's like, I've had drivers, like sometimes drivers, bro, like they'll get down there, um, downstairs to like the, where basically like the elevators are, where there's like a gate. Um, some of them will talk to the front desk and bring that shit up. Some of them will just be lazy as fuck and be like, Hey, orders for Evan, boom here. And then like they walk out and then my building has to pretty much call me. So I feel, Dude, go ahead. yeah, it just, it's like to Lucas's point. I think that's probably the most frustrating to me is like people used to work for tips. People no longer work for tips. It's expected. People expect yeah. tips yeah. and that's, it's, it's expecting versus working. Right. But I'll, so I'll do you one better to what you said. Cause I yeah. live not, it's not, it's like condos, right? Yeah. So when you get into my building, bro, there's two gates. You need to like press the thing and then they both open so you can get to the floor. Yeah. I've left work and, and you know, I'll leave work in the morning and I'll look to the front, like the main office doors. Bro, there's every, every uh, Saturday morning and Sunday morning, bro, there's like 15 f just food in front of the door. Yeah. So yeah. the fucking drivers come to the door realize I got to call this person, ask him for the code. I have to drive up to the floor and then meet him at the door. Yeah. Fuck that. So they just leave it in the front. Dude, that's like, bro, there's, f yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take a, there's probably going to be some tonight. I'll take a picture, bro. It's yeah. just all this food right there. Yeah. Cause they don't want to like, yeah. you know what I mean? What, what even pisses, isn't that's that crazy? Yeah. Dude, no, it, it's fucked. Free it's fucked. Dude, it's like, it's, it's, it's uh, the work ethic of like this next generation of people coming. Here's what actually pisses me I don't think it's young like, people, but I think it's just old people. That door dash? I think it's, it's a mix. People, yeah, you know? it's, it's yeah. people in general, bro. What pisses me off more is companies like DoorDash, instead of them paying their employees more, where maybe it's like- Not even their employees, they're uh, yeah. contractors. contractors you know? Yeah. That's why it's such a good business for them. Right. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't it just, know. But, but so like, going into, because like we, you guys were bringing up the, the point of like that video where the guy like is going to the self-checkout line, yeah. right? And he scans his own shit. He picked up his shit. He pays for it. And then it asks for a tip and there's literally no yeah. one there. So he's like, who am I tipping myself? Yeah. Right. But so that reminds me, like I've stopped doing businesses with places. Shout out to Foodie Fit. Like I used to get meal preps. Fuck them. But you go, you go to their, their store. You open up the refrigerator, you grab whatever meal preps you want, you take it to the counter, the clerk rings you up, and then flips the iPad on you and asks for a tip. tip and I'm like, why? What are I we know. fucking yeah. doing here? So I stopped doing business there because it's like, yep. I'm not going to come and yeah. feel like I'm obligated to fucking pay your guys' yeah. fucking wage. Stupid. Yep. Yeah. yeah, dude, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I'm pretty sure I shared this with you guys, but it was a, I don't know if it was like Uber Eats, DoorDash, whatever it was, but um, this chick like backed up her vehicle. It was like a van she was driving. Obviously, it was a grocery delivery and she flipped open her fucking back thing and I think it was like she was waiting to see if the customer was going to tip her and she like, I think she tipped her, but she didn't tip her enough and it was like this big controversy uh, they ended up some, I think it was a kid or maybe like the husband or something came out and started filming it. And it was like this big controversy and it was basically like, you didn't tip me enough. So I'm not giving you your fucking groceries. I'm taking these back to the store. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, oh, see, like, that's crazy. So yeah. there's, it's like, there's like so much crazy like shit out there. And like, <clears throat> it goes back to what I said. It's like working for something versus just expecting. Like if, if I was in that chick's shoes dropping off 
you know, some groceries. If I wanted to work for a tip, what I would have done is I would have flipped that bitch open. I would have carried the groceries to the front step. Yeah, you earn it. And, and obviously, right. may, maybe offer to, you know, hey, if you want me to carry them into your kitchen, like I'll drop them off at your counter or something, you know? Dude. That's the approach she should have done. Yeah. But instead, the bitch flipped open her door and stood there like this. Mm-hmm. And was like, here's your groceries. You better yeah. get them. Dude, like, I I'm saw fucking... Them. I like, s- yeah. Because they didn't get tipped enough. Dude, I saw a ring ring camera footage and it was uh it was a guy drops out the food, takes a picture, and looks at the order and he's like, huh, knocks on the door. And the lady's like, It's okay, you can leave it there. Yeah. Knocks again. Um, it says that you tip zero dollars that you didn't tip me. And he's like, Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just yeah, you're late. He's knocking on the door. Did you mean to tip zero dollars? Like loud as fuck, bro. This is like an apartment complex. Yeah. And then she's talking to her thing like, yeah, you can just leave it at the door. So the dude fucking picks it up and just, boom. And this guy's in, bro, flip-flops, little like gym shorts. Yeah. Fucked up t-shirt. And it's just like sitting there like knocking at the door. And I'm just like, bro, that's crazy. But I mean, that's That's kind of, once again, it goes back to the flaw of, you know, just it's open to the masses, right? It's subcontractor work. So it's like you're going to have fucking nutty people dropping off food sometimes. You tipping at coffee or no? Do I what? When you get coffee, do you tip? Yeah, I, I tip fucking everywhere, but that's what yeah. I mean. It's 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 annoying. So like I'll something stop. you won't tip at. Something I won't tip yeah. at. There's nothing that I. Whenever yeah. there's a tipping option, yeah. I'm I'm the guy that just pushes the fucking middle one, whatever it is. Yeah, and sometimes it's fucking way too much. <laughs> um, yeah, because like like once again, like to me, like they're they're providing like a service for me. Like they're physically like making my coffee. Um, I think the only places that to me I really struggle with like refusing is like is like complete like self checkout options um the other one to me that's uh that's a, a little bit which i mean it's an arguable one let's say actually this would be a good one to ask you guys so if you do um pickup so you order a pizza for pickup no they no tip o- at all okay they obviously provided they they a chef in the back cooked your fucking pizza he's not getting the tip um, that's the problem exactly yeah, yeah. So um, that's the other one I will say that sometimes I'm up in the air with is like, okay, I'm picking up the food. There was no like waitress. Like, is this money going to the front desk chick? Is yes. this going to like the chef in the back? Like, where is this money going to? So that'd be the other one where it's a little bit questionable. Bro, I worked in restaurants. They fucking like the, the on like busy days, the dishwasher and shit like, yo, at least buy us a fucking 40 and we'll split the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like the little fucking 15, 16 year old, you know, I guess 18, whatever. The, yeah. How old do you got to be to fucking work? I don't remember. But the front answer, the mm-hmm. phones are going home with like 200 bucks each. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. Was really doing shit? Yeah. Mu- mu- must be fucking nice. So, uh, hey, when was the last time you guys been to Disneyland? It's been a minute. I'm poor. I've never been. Never been? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> poor guy. Yo, yeah. yo, 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 yo. Let's- oh, f- jokes now. Poor guy, yeah. huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. Sucks to suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm broke. I'm sorry. Bro. Okay, anyway, anyway. Okay, let's dive into this. So there was a, I don't remember what Disneyland attraction this was, but it's one of the, the more popular. And there's always this long ass fucking line going into this Disneyland attraction. Well, it's, it's been over like the last like six months, this line is just like getting like worse and worse and worse. Well, they've had a, a bunch of episodes of people like pissing and shitting mm. while they're in line because they literally just can't hold it and they're so desperate to go on this fucking uh so desperate to go on this well, yeah, fucking you're not ride. hopping out of okay. line after you lose your spot bro yeah. okay. lose your spot so the funny part is is Disneyland was like fuck it we get it you're waiting in line Disneyland didn't even fucking like you know say like what the fuck is this Disneyland said fuck it we're going to build some bathrooms so Disneyland came through, they built some bathrooms, I guess, in like where the lines are, et cetera, for this ride. So anyway, I don't want to talk about how weird it is that people are shitting at fucking Disneyland in front of other people. Um, what I'm curious about is- Why are we is, talking about that? Yeah. So <laughs> what I'm curious about is, I know me, like I've been in situations where I got to piss so fucking bad. I've had situations where I got to shit so fucking oh, yeah. bad. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry if it's a little graphic, y'all. But I want to know, like, you guys have any good stories of like times that you're like, "Fuck it, I just got, I, I just got to handle this." I have an amazing one. Go ahead, yeah, bro. Go ahead. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Ahead, Fuck that, go ahead. bro. When I was in Mexico, 
Um, last time I went to uh, was in Cancun. You know, we met some people from fucking France, from fucking Canada. And we were just kicking it, bro, all night, right? Yeah. Some speaking gibberish and shit, right? Yeah. We're walking back to the to the to the resort in this fucking compound, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go to bed." So me and my wife are like, "Let's go to the beach. It's right there, right?" This is like probably like four four thirty. Moon is bright as fuck. I was like, I really hope they don't want to come to the beach because I'm like, I need to shit, right? Like we're drinking, yeah. I bubble guts, like it's oh, all bad. Back the all worst, bad. Yeah. bro. The worst, your fucking stomach. I'm literally crazy. outside. I'm looking at the pool, and I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna make it to the fucking to the room, right? So I'm like, there's got to be. I'm trying to think. I'm like, I don't think there's bathrooms out here, but I'm like, I know on the beach there's porta potties, right? So we start walking, walking. Bro, I get to the fucking, you know, because you have to like basically do all this shit. I get to the sand and I'm like, I look at my girl and I'm like, babe, I need a shit right now. No, you didn't. So, bro, I swear <laughs> to God. You're a fucking piece of shit. I swear to God, bro. I <laughs> fucking dig a little hole in the sand. You're and I shit in the sand, bro. Animal, bro. <laughs> so, hold on. I shit in the sand. Okay. Cover that shit Your up. girl's just okay. watching? We were fucked up. But yeah, she's like, okay, that's gross. But she's, bro. But she said it sounded like a little boop. Because it was fucking just, wa- bro, black water coming out of my asshole <laughs> on the beach in Mexico. So I cover it up and I'm like, all right, I got to wipe my ass. Yeah. So we go to the ocean. Oh I let the water God, clean my asshole out. Yeah. It, Hold on, it gets oh worse, God, it gets bro. worse, it gets worse. So then I'm like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. We go lay on these hammocks that are like connected to, it's, it's closed, but there's a bar. There's ha- like, that's like the club area, the beach club. But ain't nobody there. So we're on the hammocks, bro. So I'm laying there and I'm like, fuck, I feel so much better. Well, I tr- you ever been on a hammock, bro? So I try to get off. The shit does a little 360 loop. I fall flat on my stomach. It would knocks the wind out of me. Oh. I stand up. You I shit got, yourself. I got to shit again. <laughs> this time my girl's right next to me. Oh, my God. I shit on her foot, fool. No, you didn't. <laughs> swear to God. Oh, my God. I sh- sh- she's like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, I'm like, dude, the impact from the fucking, my body hitting the sand bro. woke some shit up. Yo, it gets worse. Nasty. It gets worse, bro. How? Because, hold on. What? So this time I'm like, we need you to go. You come to back me. the next day and there's a kid playing in the sand. Oh, bro, hold on. So hold on. So I'm like, dude, I need, like, we need to go, right? Yeah. So out, outside of the pool, there's like showers. Yeah. So I go there. I'm like, I got to wipe. I got to fucking, you know, I gotta clean yeah, up. Bro. I got to clean off your foot. Clean. I got to clean up. So she's next to me and I'm, you know, she's fucking, there's a little spout for her foot and I'm doing it again. I feel rumblings again, bro. <laughs> Boom. Again. Shit in the shower. In the shower, <laughs> in the shower bro. In the beach showers. The, bro, this is also in the open. Yeah. Like if anybody's chilling on their balcony, they're seeing me shit in the, <laughs> everywhere. They saw everything. The I was going to say, okay, so where was, the, where was the people you were with? Well, they ended up they going to back. the. They ended up going to the room. Okay, okay. Because they were like, "Oh, it's late," and I was like, "Thank God." So I shit three times, and then the next morning we go, and I'm like, "Oh, I shit right there. I shit right there." There's people fucking playing, drinking already in the morning, <laughs> but they didn't see the shit though. They didn't see the shit because I made a little hole, and then I just Bro. covered the shit. It was a true story. I had no idea I was gonna open up that can of worms. Around my life, I've never told this story. I was it was eating me alive, bro. Can't you tell? Yeah, yeah, bro. Isn't yeah. that crazy? I get why you never told anyone. Isn't that crazy? That. Yeah. I'm fucking, yeah, I hate you. Yeah. You're a piece of shit. Bro, I, 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 what was You're I supposed, what was supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Lucas? Go to the room. Like a, see, you've like never, fucking, see, you've never had to shit that bad. That's why. No. No. Okay, so I, why I you, can you've make never, it. no, you can't. I can Trust make me, I couldn't it. have made it. The bro. second I let go of the pressure, it's like turning on a faucet of black water out of my asshole, bro. <laughs> you've never had that before, so you don't know. Oh, I've never I, been I, drunk at the beach at Montezuma's 5 a.m. Montezuma's revenge has definitely had a hold of me, bro. I get it. I've been I'm to Mexico. Yeah. You never shot on the beach before? Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, no, I've never, never shot at the shit fucking on the beach. No. beach. You ever shit and you're trying to up? go on my pool all the fucking time. You're never getting in my fucking water, dog. I, just can't, have, I can't have a messed up stomach, bro. You're not yeah. ever. You're always Where's messed up. Where's the worst up. place you're taking the shit then? Yeah, so... <laughs> so, so like... A porter potty? Yeah, yeah. So, mine... Mine are just like more... gonna be so mad at yeah. Story, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, mine, mine are just like country as fuck. So, so like I, I grew up in like small, like farm town, like country ass shit. Right. No, no. And, and, uh, I remember I was like fucking, I was like, I was like, I'm driving my grandpa's tractor. So I'm like driving my grandpa's tractor out in the middle of the fucking countryside and fucking had some lunch, had some lunch, ate, ate, ate my little lunchbox food and, uh, yo, bubble guts just fucking real bad. Well, 
it's, I mean, I'm in the middle of like these like fields, bro. So I'm like literally just like out in the middle of the field, just like bubble guts, just like, like squatted down, just like fucking, you know, shitting my guts out. But uh, luckily. Like in a um, field? Yeah. Like just, just in the middle of a random field. Would you wipe with? And then, uh, so what I, that was like, that was actually probably the funniest part. So what I wiped with is um, my mom would pack my, uh, my, my mom would pack my lunchbox and uh, she basically had some, you know, folded paper towels in there. So paper towels were a little dirty. They had a little, little something, something on it from, ketchup my, you shit. know, ketchup and shit from the lunch and little fucking Cheeto cheese and like all sorts of shit. And I just was like, I had nothing to use. So I was like, fuck it. I just got to use my dirty ass napkin. So, um, yeah, just use my dirty napkin, bro. fucking wipe my ass, bro. And whatever. Um, I would use a and, sock and then, personally. And then, uh, the, in there. <laughs> scoop it, you bro, fucking, <laughs> God, bro, you're, you're fucking done, nasty. Bro. And then the other one I've been, um, I was, uh, I was my, my, my dad worked for this farmer and, uh, I was like, I was real young. I was like fucking probably like, like, like eight, 10 years old. And, uh, he used to have me like pulling weeds out in his trees. Like this guy was like, loved his fucking tree rows. He had like miles and miles of fucking trees. So I'd be out there like pulling weeds and shit and just like fucking trimming his trees, doing all sorts of shit. And I, I remember fucking trimming these trees, bro. And fucking once again, after a little lunch, had a couple of fucking Mountain Dews on fucking lunch. Like I used to love like Pepsi Mountain Dew, fucking shit like that with my lunch, gross. bro. Little That's Mountain Dew, dude, the- Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew will fuck that stomach up. And, uh, I remember like trimming this fucking tree, bro. And I just had like literally nothing with me and I just like had to shit so I was like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going to shit by this tree. And I'm like sitting there. I'm like, fuck, do I like not wipe and just like work all day with a fucking, fucking stinky Yo, that butt? that relief though when you so, need to take a shit so, and you do it. So what I did, fuck. so what I did, bro, is I just went to the tree and I just started fucking plucking. Like it was like, a, it was like these like small, like little spruce trees. So the leaves are <laughs> only about like fucking, like <laughs> fucking this big, bro. So I just started taking like hella leaves off the fucking tree. And I'm like, just like, like clumping like fucking leaves together and i just fucking Dude, that's all crazy. over his like, hand <laughs> that's bro, crazy, bro. mess so bro, poison ivy in his asshole bro yeah Fuck. bro can you so, imagine so the, the only thing i could do bro was just fucking just accept the fact that like this is the situation i was in and then i i fucking my hands were all nasty so i just like put my hands in the dirt and like clean yeah, you're my, good, like bro, you're good. Yeah, like yeah. got got the dirt to like stick to the the sh- like everything on my hands because you've never shit nowhere exotic bro no man I, i've yeah. always been able to make it like don't get me wrong there's been times where like i fucking sharded shit myself you know what i mean yeah. like when you're sick or whatever and yeah. you, you're like this bro, is a fart. when i was no, sick i shat in the shower the other day yeah what? i'll cut that out yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Oh my God. I had to, though. I had to. You're sick how do you do this, bro, dog? I don't think bro. you understand how sick I bro, get. Bro, no, you're <laughs> a fucking. I was dude, in the shower to make sure water was hitting me so I don't fucking die. You shit in the shower. I was like, I, I can't. Bro, because if I sit, I'm, I'm going to. I'm so, like, I can't. So what do you just. You just Let's put my foot up there. You just, oh my. And your wife just cleans this shit up, bro. No, I did. I did. Bro. You did? Yeah. You're a fucking bro. piece of shit. Yeah. It's not at a fucking regular occurrence, bro. Uh, it seems like it, Chewy. It's start, I told two stories. It's in a row. starting to look like. <laughs> what else we got, boys? That's it. Um, Let's wrap this on the shit. We might have to wrap this shit, dude. I'm sad. I'm not going to dinner with you guys, dude. Bro, I'm sad too, man. Are you gonna go? I, I don't mean, know. You definitely I'm can. Fucking tired. You definitely can. No, I can't. I gotta go see my moms, bro. Okay. But I'm just glad that somebody. I almost want to put them on the pod, bro. So no. we we had a we, anybody watching, but we had a fucking. A, a, a cosmic sized debate about asparagus a few yeah. months ago. And my whole argument was that I left Carbone hungry because there was four pieces of asparagus for 30 people. And I was looked at crazy. I was condemned. And now I have here somebody here to validate me. <laughs> he also left hungry. So I just want to say, fuck you. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Appreciate you. Peace. Peace.